Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the component in Angular 15. In the previous video, we have, we have discussed about the decorators and the modules. In this video, we will discuss about the component in Angular 15. So as we have discussed, Angular is basically a module and the component based application. So if we are going to create any Angular application, so there should be at least one component. So we, like through that component, so component has the HTML file through that we see the things on the browser. So Angular application is a collection of component and a component handle one view or the HTML page. So basically like in the previous video where we have created the well, component. So component contain four file, one is the CSS HTML file, Another is the SPC file. This is basically testing file where we write the testing for the respective component. And next is the component.ts file. So here we write the logic like to connect to the API or the services or to write any logic we write inside the component.ts. This is the HTML page where we write the HTML code. Now in the previous video where we discussed how we create the component so now here if we want to create a new component so what is the command ngc is basically like you either you can write c or the component and here if i want to create another component that is the teacher so what it will do it will create a one folder here and will contain four files css html spc file and the ts file so here you can see teacher and it contain four files here so this is the way we can create the angular component now the next thing an angular component controls a part of the ui of your application for an example like if you want to create our application in a such a manner like it contain the header or it contain the footer so for the header we can create a one component for the footer we can have the component for the body we can create another component so if we will do in that way so it give us uh, too much uh, reusability of the component or the code basically if you want to say so component it is basically like a directive as we discussed in the previous video it is basically a type of the typescript uh, class where we write all the logic in the typescript and it is decorated with the add symbol so the same thing you can see here like it is decorated with the add symbol now next thing like a component is basically a combination of the three things one is the selector so here you can see it is a selector so here we have defined our application name like basically the component name so a selector that tells angular to create an insert an instance of this component wherever it find the corresponding tab tag in the html template now for an example okay so for this one let's run this application first what i'm going to do i'm going to run this application and then what we will do we will give this reference of this selector in the different component means in the uh, app.component.html so by default when we run any application so first it runs this app.component.html file and the reason is in the app.module.ts file here we have the reference of this app component so now it compiled successfully when i'll go on the browser here we can see like First, it is saying this is my first Angular 15 application and it is coming from here. Now, on the same page at the down, I want to show the student page here. So what I can see first, let me define the div. Let give me the color of this. So color red. Here, I want to call the student uh, page. So here we have this text. So I have to copy this tag and here what i will give i will give reference of this one now let's save it and then let's go on the browser we can see student works because this student html if you will see here we have written or if you want to write anything like dotnet office if you want uh, to write like this and save it you can see this dotnet office so this is the way like if you want to call any other html so what we have to do we have to give the corresponding tag next is the html url it's basically part of the html page so here if you will go on the component like which html this component contains so this is the path and next is the style so which css it calls so that we can write here so this is the way like basically we write it even directly you can write your html code here if you don't want to give you can directly uh, write now, now for an example i will copy this one and here what i'm going to do i'm going to comment this line 
and here I am saying template URL and here what I'm going to do I'm going to give this uh, full uh, like code here I'm not just referencing this HTML page I just I have written the my HTML code here when I will save this one okay so it is giving the error let's see what error it is so we will resolve this first so like uh, here this error is basically coming like uh, so like what mistake we have done here we have put the URL also since like uh, URL we gave when we have to give the HTML like basically a URL path but here directly we have written uh, the HTML code so what we have to do we have to get rid of this URL so let's save it let's go on the browser and we can see student box so it is coming here so this is the way like basically we uh, use this template and this is the CSS so here we give the CSS for the CSS also like we can directly write the CSS the thing is we have to remove the URL so this is the component like these are the things which comes under the component now there are some key points related to the component and what is that all angular application has at least one component to show data on view or on the browser we can create multiple component in an angular application so as per our uh, understanding we can create multiple component as well when we create component in angular application we have to define it in ng module so now for an example like when we define any angular application so module so app dot module is yes. so we have the student component uh, reference here just now we created the teacher component that reference also comes here so basically like when we create angular application automatically it add the reference but if you want to give the reference of this component in another module then manually we have to give it so that is uh, um, mandatory to give the reference into the module and uh, like we have seen for creating a component in the angular application we have to give the command called ng gc and component name so these are the about the component like how we create the component and what all are the things which we have in the component so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you